Hi! So for today, we're going to talk about solving systems of linear equation, two variables using the substitution method. Okay? Substitution method. So, what is this substitution method from the word itself? For example, in this problem, we have two equations. Let's say we have this is our equation 1 and this is our equation 2. Okay? So, substitution method, actually, what are we going to do? From the word itself, we're going to express, for example, one of this equation into a single variable and then substitute it to the other equation. Okay? So, let's try to do so. So, in order for us to find the values of x and y using substitution method, I can express, let's say, this first equation in terms of x or y. Okay? So, let me try. From equation 1, okay, we're going to express this equation 1 in terms of purely x on the right side of the equation or the left side of the equation or purely y. So, if I'm going to get this, so we have 2x plus y is equals to 1. If I'm going to express this as a, as a in terms of y on the left side of the equation, definitely I'll be having y is equals to 1 minus 2x. Okay? I have expressed equation 1 in terms of y on the left side of the okay, of the left side of the equation. Or, or I can also express this, okay? Express this in terms of x. So if I'm going to get x here, so I'll be having 2x is equals to 1 minus y, I have to transpose y on the other side. Then divide this whole thing by 2 so I can I can get purely x here. So I have 1 minus y over 2. So any of this equation I can use in order for me to find the values of x and y if I'm going to substitute it on the second equation. Okay, so... Let's try the first one, okay? So, I'm going to try this. So, what I'm going to do, substitution simply means we're going to substitute this value of y that we get from equation 1 to equation 2. So, what will happen? I have 3x plus, this is 4 times y. 4 times what we have derived from the equation 1, y which is 1 minus 2x is equals to 14. So as you can see, upon, upon uh, uh, plugging the equation y here, we are left with only one single variable, which is x. So that if we perform algebra, we're going to solve for x. So we are able to solve for x. That's what I mean. So this is distributive. 3x plus 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times negative 2x is negative 8x is equals to 14. Combining like terms, I have 3x minus 8x is equals to 14 transpose 4, positive 4 on the left side or the right side, we have minus 4. So that I have 14 minus 4 is 10. Okay, 3x minus 8x, that is negative 5x. And furthermore, to find x, okay, I can divide whole side of the equation by... Uh, negative 5. So, I could cancel negative 5 here. So, upon dividing that, that would be 10 divided by negative 5 is negative 2. And here is our value for our x. We found already the x. So, what are we going to do to find y? You can either use any of the equation here. Okay? So, but we since this equation we have derived a while ago, which is which came from equation 1, we can simply substitute the value of x here to find y. So, if we substitute that 1 minus 2 times negative 2, okay, that should be y 1 negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. So, that should become plus 4, positive 4. y therefore is equal to 5. Okay? So, we now get got the correct answer.
Okay? Which is x is equal to negative 2, y is equal to 5. How about if we use this? Okay? If we use this derived equation that we express equation 1 in terms of x. Okay? So, we will still be arriving at the same answer. Using, okay? This is still number 1. x is equal to 1 minus y over 2. Okay? We are going to substitute that to our equation 2, which is 3x plus 4y, okay, is equals to 14. So if I'm going to substitute this with x, so 3 times the x, this is our x, derived value for x, equation for x, plus 4y is equals to 14. So as you can see, I can, uh, this is distributive still. So, we have 3 times 1 minus y over 2 plus 4y is equal to 14. Okay? If I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 2, so as I can eliminate 2 here, okay, we'll be having 3 times 1 minus y plus 2 times 4y, it's 8y. 2 times 14 is 28. So, I can eliminate the denominator 2. So, we multiply both sides of the equation by 2. So, performing that, for us to find y, so 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times negative y is negative 3y, plus 8y is equal to 28. So, combining like terms, you have 8y minus 3y is equal now to 28, transpose positive 3 on the left side, or on the right side, we have minus 3 here, 28 minus 3 is 25, 8y minus 3y is 5y, so, if we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 5, 5 would cancel. So, what will happen? y is equal to 25 over 5. And we can get the value of y, which is actually 5. Okay? And again, if we are going to find the value of x, we can simply substitute the value of y here in our given equation. So, we have an equation that is x is equal to... 1 minus y over 2. If I'm going to substitute 5 here, so we have 1 minus 5 over 2. That is negative 4 over 2 because 1 minus 5 is negative 4. Negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. So as you can see, we still arrive at the same answer no matter what we're going to do or we, we're, no matter what variable we are going to express the given equation. Is it in terms of x, in terms of y? We will still be arriving at the same answer. So our value for the values of x here and the values of y here is negative 2 and 5 respectively. Okay, so let's try to solve again another problem involving two unknowns. x minus y is equals to 1. And we have 4x plus 3y is equal to 18. So we can get, again, equation 1 or equation 2. We can express it in terms of x and y. But it's more convenient or much easier if we're going to express this in either terms of x or y. So from equation 1, okay, this is our equation 2. From our equation 1, x minus y is equal to 1. So, what are we going to do? We can express this in terms of x. So, we have 1 plus y here. Or simply, x is equal to y plus 1. That is still the same. Okay? So, we're going to substitute this on equation 2. So, we have 4x plus 3y is equal to 18. So, we're going to substitute this, substitute in equation 2. So, that we can get the value of y. So, we have 4 times x is equals to y plus 1 plus 3y is equals to 18. So as you can see, we have reduced the given equation into a single unknown variable y. So we can solve for y. So we have, uh, this is distributive. So 4y plus 4 plus 3y is equals to 18. So 4y plus 3y is 7y. 18 uh, this uh, We're going to transpose this on the right side. 18 minus 4 is 14. We have 7y here. Divide both sides by 7. And we have y is equal to 14 over 7. And 14 over 7 is basically 2. And in order for us to get, okay, 
in order for us to get x, okay, from this equation, okay, which is derived from the first equation, we can get x. So we have x is equals to 1 plus y, of which our y is simply 2. So 1 plus 2, x is equals to 3. Okay, you can also use equation 2. Or you can also use equation 2, okay? So what are we going to do? In order for us to get x, we substitute the value of y here. So 4x plus 3y, you will be also surprised that that is also equivalent to 3. So 4x plus 3 times y, which is 2, is equals to 18. So what will happen here is that we have 4x plus 6 is equals to 18. So transposing positive 6 on the right side, so we have this becomes negative 6, 18 minus 6. So we have 4x, 18 minus 6 is 12. If we're going to divide this equation by 4, both sides of the equation by 4, we have x is now equal to 12 over 4. And 12 over 4 is also 3. So as you can see, whichever equation you're going to use, as long as it's derived from these two equations, you are good to go. And you will still be arriving at the same answer. So let's try another problem. Let's try number 3, wherein we're going to solve still two equations, two unknowns. So we have 5, 3x plus y is equals to 1, then 5x plus 2y is equals to 1. So, and again, I can express the first equation, okay, I'm always choosing the first equation, but you are not limited to do that. You can also choose 2 and substitute it back to 1. Okay, but in my case, I'm going to choose equation 1 again. So I can express equation 1 purely in terms of y. So 3x plus y is equal to 1. So I can uh, transpose this on the right side so that I have y is equal to 1 minus 3x. Then I'm going to substitute this to the second equation for me to get x. So we have 5x plus 2y is equal to 1. This is our equation 2. Substituting y, okay, this y, on this equation, we have 5x plus 2 times 1 minus 3x is equals to 1. So we have reduced, again, the equation into a single variable x so that we can solve the value for x. So we have 5x Plus, this is distributive, 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times negative 3x is negative 6x is equals to 1. Combining like terms, you have 5x minus 6x is equals to 1. Transpose this positive 2 on the right side, this becomes negative 2. So we have 5x minus 6x is negative x. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Multiplying both sides by negative 1 because I want this to become positive because that is what we are after, the value of x. So this would become positive x and negative 1 times negative 1 would become positive 1. So this is now my value for x. So to find y, simply substitute this value of x on any of the equation. Okay? So in this case, this is also derived on the first equation. So I can simply substitute the value of x in this equation. So I have y equals to 1 minus 3x, but x is equals to 1, so therefore y is equals to 1 minus 3 times 1. Of course, 1 minus 3, and that should be negative 2. Okay? So that is how easy it is to solve for the values of x and y in a given system of linear equation into variables using substitution method. You usually substitute okay, the, the uh, equations in purely terms of x or purely terms of y in order for you to get the unknowns. Okay, that, This is not limited to only x and y. This is the most widely used variable x and y, but we can also have variables such as a, b, or w, x, okay, v, w, u, v, or whatsoever variable, okay? So, so let us go now to our last example. So for number four, for this video, for number four, we have uh, 2x plus 2y is equals to 7, and we have x plus 2y 
Okay, x plus 2y is equals to 2. This would be our equation 1. This is our equation 2. So I can express equation 2, okay? Equation 2 in terms of x. x plus 2y is equals to 2. In terms of x, x, 2 minus 2y. And then I'm going to substitute it. Substitute this to equation 1. So our equation 1 will be 2x plus y is equal to 7. So substituting the values of x, so we have 2 times 2 minus 2y, okay, plus y is equal to 7. So distributing 2 times 2, okay, let me just uh, make this a, neat, a little, uh, little uh, clear. 2 minus 2y, okay. Substituting or distributing 2, we have 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times negative 2y is negative 4y plus y is equals to 7. And then we can combine like terms. So we have negative 4y plus y is equals to 7. This is positive 4 transposing to the right side. That becomes negative 4. So we have what? Negative 4y plus y is negative 3y is equals to 7 minus 4 is 3. I want this left side of the equation to be equal to only y because we are we are looking for that y. So I can divide this whole side of the equation by uh, negative 3. So negative 3 over negative 3y, that should cancel. That is equal to 1. So 3 over negative 3, y is equal to negative 1. So we found y. How about x? We can find x. By simply substituting the values of y or the value of y in any of the equation, equation 1 or equation 2. But this is also a derived equation from equation 1. So might as well substitute the value of y into this equation y because our x, this is, this is already expressed in terms of x. So x is equal to 2 minus 2y. Substituting the value of y, we have x 2 times or 2 minus 2 times negative 1. So please be careful. This should be 2 minus 2 divided, uh, multiplied by negative 1. That should become 2 plus 2. So we have 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. In order for us to check if our answer is correct, we have an answer of x is equal to 4, x is equal to 4, and y is equal to negative 1. So we can substitute the values of x and y in this equation so we have to check this okay let's check so we have 2x plus y is equals to 7 so 2x plus y is equals to 7 so 2 times 4 plus the negative 1 should be equal to 7 2 times 4 is 8 8 plus negative 1 is tantamount to 8 minus 1 is equal to 7 so therefore we have 8 minus 1 7 is equal to 7 Therefore, that is still correct. Okay? Our values is correct. So, we can also check for the second equation. x plus 2y is equal to 2. x plus 2y is equal to 2. Substituting the value of x and y. So, x is 4 plus 2 times negative 1 because the value of y is negative 1. That should equal to 2. So, 4 plus 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 is equal to 2. So, 4 plus negative 2 is tantamount for 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. So, 4 minus 2 is 2. And that is equivalent to 2. So, therefore, our answer, x is equal to 4, y is equal to negative 1 is correct. So, and I hope you guys, you learned something for today's video solving system of linear equation in two variables by using substitution. Thank you so much and God bless you.